right, how you guys doing today? This is Vince Moscarella coming at you, and we're going to take a look at the four types of slope. A little quick review here. Now, here's one type of slope right here. So if you take a look at this piece right here, or maybe this piece right here, both of those, if you were to draw a line that has that kind of slope, we should remember that that is both of those have a positive slope. So uh, anywhere on that line, if I pick a point here or here or maybe over here or here, my slope, whatever value I get, would be a positive value. Now, similarly, or opposite of positive slope, we've got negative slope. So right here in this region, we've got a line that would be slanted going down. So somewhere along that line, anything that's there, of course, that would have a negative slope if I was at that point, or maybe this one, or this guy down here. Now, we've got positive slope, and we've got negative slopes. Now, there's two other types of slopes, and one of them happens to occur uh, right here, where your slopes change from positive to negative. And where that happens, so right there is one spot, and down here is another spot. And anytime you've got a flat line like that, that represents slope, we should know that that is a zero slope. All right, so where there's a change from a positive slope to a negative slope or from a negative slope to a positive slope, that is where we have a zero slope. Now, similarly to positive, negative, and zero slope, we've got one other type of slope, and it's not really notated here in this one, but we could also have a vertical line. And if we had a vertical line, if we had a line that was vertical like that, of course, we know that that has no slope. So those are the four types of slope that exists. So when you're taking a look at a picture like that, sometimes you're going to have to estimate. But if I'm looking at any point on the yellow line, on that yellow section, that's a positive slope. My slope here at this point, uh, say right here, is going to be slightly different than if I had a slope over here at this point. So your slope is going to vary depending on where you are on that curve because you're on a curve, not on a straight line. So hopefully that helps a little bit with remembering the four types of slope. And that's it for today's quick little lesson. Talk to you guys soon. See you later. Peace out.